Channel. Human Rights Watch has slammed a Saudi-led air raid in western Yemen last Friday as an apparent war crime. According to the group, 65 civilians were killed when warplanes bombed two residential compounds in the port city of Mocha. Activists say there was no evident uh, military target and called again for a probe of the Saudi airstrikes. An RT crew was in Yemen recently where the situation has been rapidly deteriorating. Well, this video shows the aftermath of the Friday attack in Mocha. It's too graphic to be shown on Blurred. I'm joined now by Ahmed bin Kemsi, Communications Director of the Middle East and North Africa Division of Human Rights Watch, to discuss the attack and the Human Rights Watch report further. Hi there, Ahmed. Thanks for being with us. This report calls the strike a war crime. Will anybody be uh, held accountable for it, though, do you think, end of the day? Well, it's called an apparent war crime because it's still pending an investigation, but it, all had, it has all the appearances of a war crime. Mm -hmm. uh, our team from Human Rights Watch was there on the ground about one day and a half after the attack, and we were able to confirm independently that there were at least 65 victims in this attack, including 10 children, and more than 40 people were wounded, many of them in critical condition, including an 11-year-old little girl. So, uh, yes, this was an attack against a residential compound of of a uh, factory, uh, an electrical plant. Uh, the, the residential compound was just, uh, pe people who were living there were workers, engineers, uh, uh, technicians, people who have absolutely no relation with any armed part of any conflict, and yet they were targeted by the airstrike. So it has the all the appearances of a war crime. Okay, but this is hardly the first time, of course, an international organization like yourself has drawn attention to civilian deaths caused by Saudi airstrikes in Yemen. Is Riyadh likely to listen to change its approach, its tactics? Well, it is not for us to answer this question. You should ask them. However, uh, under the rules of law, under the 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 the, the, um, the legal uh, uh, situation, uh, rules of war. Sorry, that's what the expression I was looking for. Any part uh, that is uh, in a conflict, in, a, in an armed conflict, must investigate any allegation of a war crime, and the Saudis should investigate that. And if they don't, we at Human Rights Watch are calling the United Nations to do it, and specifically the uh, Human Rights Council of the United Nations. So there should be an investigation. That's what we're calling for. As an observer looking on, uh, and obviously you aren't a military person, but how effective are these coalition airstrikes on Yemen proving as far as the Saudis are concerned, do you think? Well, uh, I don't know if we can talk about effectiveness, but when it comes to uh, civilian casualties, there is a pretty horrific well, for, record. For, for, for what they want to achieve? Well, it's not for us to speak about military strategies or military effectiveness. Uh, what we do is uh, human rights monitoring. And when it comes to the human rights record and the uh, civilian casualties record, it's been horrific so far. Uh, since the airstrike started, we have more than 1,600 uh, and 600 uh, civilian uh, death, uh, and that the number is according to the UN Office of the High Com Commissioner for Human Rights. So that is an appalling record as far as we're concerned and as far as human uh, rights monitoring is concerned. And what's the prognosis for the immediate to medium term future, do you think? Is the humanitarian situation going to improve in war-torn Yemen anytime soon? Uh, we can only uh, hope so. What is certain is that human rights groups will continue monitoring the conflict and raising alarms whenever a horrific incident like this uh, uh, happens. Uh, for about this compound, what we observed is that it's not, it's, it's not something that can be considered a, a mistake or a, a target that was uh, confused with another target. It's nine bombs that struck a civilian residence one after the other with interval of a few minutes between each. So it was apparently intended to hit that objective and not another one. That's why we call it an apparent war crime and that's why we call for a, a, an immediate or uh, investigation about this incident. Akhmed Ben Chepsid, uh, Communications Director of the Middle East North Africa Division of Human Rights Watch. Thank you for being on the programme. Thank you for it. Months after Sweden's hectic, costly, but failed search for a Russian submarine in its waters, it seems, uh, well, one has kind of popped up. Divers have discovered what seems to be an extremely old, sunken vessel off the country's coasts. We've got more detail on that shortly.
Warhawks selling you on the idea that dropping bombs brings peace to the chicken hawks forcing you to fight in the battles that they start. The news hawks try to tell you that celebrity gossip and tabloid murder trials are the most important news of the day. While well, the hawks of advertising tell you that you are not cool enough unless you buy their product. Watching the hawks. Watching the hawks. These are the hawks that we, along with our audience, 